Hey, it's Bob here, and it's been a rough last couple of weeks for me, and I'm in a sad and melancholy mood. I'm sure you've been in those moods before yourself. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to play something on the guitar that reflects the mood that you're in? <laughs> All right, that was the uh, A section of the song. There's a B section as well, but we'll get to that in another video. Right now, right now, it's time to learn the A section. Grab your guitar, here we go. All right, so the first two measures of this song is the intro, and if you're looking at the sheet music, it's very simple. It's counted out like this. We're uh, going back and forth just with our thumb on strings five and three. So it sounds like this, and it's counted like this. One and two and three and four and and we're pressing two frets up with our middle finger on the third string. One and two and three and four and that's one measure. And we're not playing any of the and notes there. You can see it's just one, two, three, four. So it's one and two, three and four. Two, one and two and three and four and. All right, measure three is is the pattern now that we're we're familiar with, and just the strings are changed. So we're playing. So that's measure three. Okay, so I'll count out the strings for you. It's five. Three, two, five, one, three. And it's counted one and two and three and four and. If you are new to this channel, you've never been here before and you just want to learn how to play the guitar, maybe you bought a guitar last week and you like finger style guitar like what I was just playing, go right here, click on this link. It's an interactive link that will take you to my website and there you can download my beginner finger style course and when you're ready after taking that course you can come back here as a matter of fact this that video pr will prepare you for this song and many millions of other finger style songs as well remember we're not playing you could see in the sheet music here we're not playing on the and of one and the and of four and every measure has an opportunity to have eight finger picking beats in it okay so we're leaving out the and of one and the and of four in measure three all right and we're still pressing this this note here so it's one and two and three and four and then measure four is back to the intro part one two three four then what we're doing is we're leaving our finger down for measure five and we're adding our index finger here to form a two-fingered chord. Okay, important to, you might see my thumb sticking out and that's unfortunately the way I learned but somehow I could still arch. If you're having trouble with the chords you want to keep that thumb down in the right position here, okay, if you're having, and then tilt your neck this way. You want to play on the tips of your fingers. So the next part is we're playing on strings four, three, two, four, one, three. Okay, 
okay? And it's a form of a D minor chord. It's called a D minor six, okay? So we're only playing on these top four strings here, strings one, two, three, four. And it's, it's counted like this, one, rest, two, and three, and four, rest. It's the same pattern that we had in measure three. Okay, so if you got that pattern down from the uh, the Breeze song, it's the same pattern. We're only just plucking different strings and playing some different chords. And it's counted like this. One, rest, two, and three, and four, rest. Measure six is just this. Thumb, 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 strings four three four three okay and that's counted one rest two rest three rest four rest measure seven is an e sus chord okay and we're now we're not doing anything we're just taking this finger off now you're saying well didn't we already have that chord and why is that chord different well it's different because we're plucking different notes down here and we could just leave this finger down here. So that sounds like this. This is measure seven. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so what we're doing is we're plucking string six, three, two, six, one, three for this measure seven, all right? How cool is that? We leave the finger down and we have basically three chords with one finger. Very cool. And then we have an E seventh chord. Now what we have to do with this, this is measure eight, we have to um, either slide down with our middle finger to get this note. We're one fret up on the third string, okay? Playing this note right here. So I call that uh, an A flat or a G sharp note. G sharp is fine. It's just one fret up on the third string. Okay? And that sounds like this. This is measure eight. One and two and three and four and. Just the thumb on measure eight. So let me play measure seven and eight for you. It's one and two and three. And then we're back to measure nine, okay? And we've played this measure already. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole song. If you can play those measures, then you can play the whole songs. Things just repeat back and forth. Looking for a title to this song. I don't have one yet. If you can comment below and give me your best title for this piece of music, let me know. Comment below. But I wanted to go over a couple of finer points with sounding really good on finger style guitar. All right, so one of them is with chord changes now. All right, so you could see that the chord changes are listed at the beginning of a measure. And the problem is, is that you almost shouldn't even be looking at what those chords are. Because the fact of the matter is, a really good finger picking doesn't form that chord right at the top of every measure, okay? So for example, on that D minor seventh chord, I'm changing from the A uh, sus to, watch when I put my finger down. Okay, I'm only putting this finger down when I need to do it, and, and, and what's happening is that note comes in on the and of three. All right, so why am I doing that? Well, I'm letting that previous chord ring out when I'm making that change. And that makes the guitar have more sustain and it gives it that very beautiful sustaining sound. So again, another interesting thing happens between the E sus two chord and the E seventh chord. It's really important to, uh, to do it the way that I'm about to show you. Otherwise, you're going to get a big squeak every single time. If you change to that E7th chord right at the very beginning of that measure, 
Okay, we don't have to hit this note until the second beat. Instead of this, which is going to squeak, guaranteed. I guess if you like that squeaking sound, that's fine, but I would prefer this. So I'm just gently lifting off this note and I'm, I'm getting to this note right before the second beat when I have to be there, okay? So that's another little tip. Here's an advanced concept for fingerstyle guitar and it's called dynamics. I'm not picking all of the strings at the same volume. Sometimes I'm picking thing, some strings quieter and then I'm increasing in volume at other times. For example, in this song here, I'll start out by going real quiet then slowly getting louder. So I'm going in and out with the volume and that creates a beautiful dynamic with the song and sounds very pretty. That's an advanced concept. I'm not expecting you to do that as a beginner, but just be aware that that's another thing that will make your guitar sound real nice. All right, if you want the sheet music, just click right here. It's free. It'll take you to my web page. Also, I have the beginners play your first finger style song in 60 minutes course. That's there. On, on my web page too. I also have a link in the description area right underneath this video. Alright, I hope this video helped. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.